Okay, oh boy. So I got this Burns Bison, uh, it's either, I forget what it's called. It's the, it's the uh, Bison series around 2002. Uh, it's from Burns USA, which I heard no longer exists but it says Burns of London on it because it's a tribute to the 64 or 62, I can't remember which, uh, Bison. It's got the Batwing headstock. Cool, huh? Very cool. And I found this in the, in the case. I guess I should have opened it in 2002. It's open. very important to open immediately. <laughs> it's got instructions. It talks about the guitar. I just hit the door with the headstock, whoops. It shows you its instructions, uh, guitar neck instructions, warranty cards. Stop, read this first. I didn't read it. It's been checked thoroughly for defects prior to shipment by Burns USA. That's good to know. Warranty card, okay. So here's a uh, product warranty. Okay, so all this stuff is useless except for this, which has directions. And the reason I need directions is because if you look, it's got uh, switches, uh, knobs for everything, and no five-way switch, so you have no idea what the heck's going on here, right? So you got, uh, what does it say? It has wild dog, treble, bass, and, oops, that's upside down. Wild dog, treble, I don't wanna crash into anything. I can't tell if it's upside down, which way. Okay, so it says, oh, let's just read it. It's facing me. Wild dog, treble, bass, split sound. Then it has an AB switch. So, why? <laughs> so it's got four times two, A and B, and then volume and tone. So it's very confusing. So luckily, I still have this. And it has the instructions to how to work the pickups. Pickup switch, okay. So in A position, you can hear it sounds already thinner. Um, wild Dog. just the um, bridge pickup. And then treble is same thing, <laughs> bridge pickup. So there's no difference in the A position between those two. Then B, I mean bass, keep it in A position, bass is just the neck pickup. So it's a little fatter. Okay, then when you go to split sound, it's the bridge and the neck pickups. Okay, so there's, I guess, no middle pickup in this configuration. Okay, so if we switch to B now, I'm gonna go back all the way down to Wild Dog. So this says bridge and middle pickup in B, but out of phase. It already sounds louder. That's B, now look, go back to A. That's dinner, go back to B. And now, if I go to treble, it's bridge and middle pickup, but filtered. I don't know what kind of filter they put on. I'll have to read the book closer. Oh, by the way, I have it going through a, um, uh, what do you call it, TS-808 uh, drive pedal. So it has a little gain on it, and then my Vox amp, my AT40, uh, whatever it's called, the, the four watt uh, small tube amp. So anyway, back to this treble, okay. And then when we go to bass, it's neck and middle. So the bass is neck and middle. <laughs> three pickups with oh these are all with filters by the way the B has all the filter so I think I like the 
the B because it, there's no middle pickup in the A section. So what's cool, I think, is the bridge and middle. For me, I like the treble. So it's bridge and middle sound the best. The punch. play the middle pickup just alone there's no way you can only have bridge middle or neck and middle but you have so many choices here it's unbelievable so so I like B the middle pickups involved and the tre treble wild dog is out of phase let's see the difference Beat position when you have the um, what do you call it middle middle pickup involved definitely like it a lot better and then the out of phase let's try trouble yeah it sounds better in phase Definitely with the filtered. I gotta find out what the filter is to have going on in here, but it sounds cool. So yeah, so that's the Burns Bison. So here it is. Um, it's in dead mint condition. What's cool about it, look at that, that stripe going, a red stripe going down the back of the neck, the burst. Very cool maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, trisonic pickups, like I just explained. Burns tremolo, it says Burns of London. It's, Bur it's Burns USA, it has the Burns of London on it, and it's made in Korea. <laughs> but it's not the Chinese ones they made later on. This is actually really quality, alder wood. You can see the, the grain of the wood right through it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, not a scratch on it. It even has this, the plastic still in the back. That's how dead mint this thing is. And it's got the cool bat wing headstock, uh, tuner not included. So I'm gonna sell it. Um, and it comes with the case, brand new case. Brand new condition, condition anyway. Sitting in a closet. How many years now? 2002 to 2023. That's a long time. the urge to just hit wild dog anytime I go into a solo. Hey, stop that. There's a cat behind me, scratching the chair. There's cats everywhere making noise. I um, apologize for that, but.
and uh yeah so that's the whole story on this guitar it's gorgeous huh got the weird controls you can read that a and b switch burns of london so it's it's an homage to the early 60s beautiful guitars of burns of london it's actually very well built in korea it actually has some heft to it it's a little bigger it's very you know fatter than a strat the horns are definitely a lot wider than a strat so it's a really funky guitar it's very cool it's like you're gonna get a lot of attention on stage if you're using this thing that's for sure beautiful red burst with the green showing through all right so that's my video hope it's not too long it's like 11 minutes so i apologize <laughs> talking so much and <coughs> goodbye